in today's lecture we will see the finite difference method application for the plate buckling so we have the plate uh, which is expressed by the differential equation by the partial differential equation consider uh, this plate represented by a network of discrete points as shown in figure 6.13 the points are evenly spaced at h distance apart so you can see the s direction y direction all the uh, boxes is having a size of uh, h and at the middle point you have i comma k uh, sorry uh, it is uh, j comma k uh, towards the uh, right it is j plus h uh, same value k j plus 2h and towards left it is j minus h j minus 2h in this direction is uh, k is increasing k plus h k plus 2h here k minus h k minus 2h so we can express the uh, equations or uh, these boxes as the derivatives that is dot square uh, w by dot square is e is equal to w j plus h so w j plus h is this one this node minus 2 times w j k plus w j minus h here all divided by h square similarly if to the fourth derivative it will be uh, j plus 2h minus 4 times j plus uh, h uh, plus 6 times uh, w uh, j k minus 4 times j minus k and plus w j minus 2h k similarly so this were with respect to the x and with respect to the y so the k minus 2h is varying you have this set of equations the fourth uh, mixed difference equation uh, that is uh, with respect to dou x and dou y we have the dou x to 4 by w by dou x square into dou y square is given by uh, this expression 1 by h raised to 4 into w j plus h k plus h minus 2 w into j plus h comma k plus w j plus h uh, comma k minus h uh, minus 2 w j k okay, plus h minus 2 w j k uh, plus w j k minus h plus w j minus h k plus h minus 2 w j minus h uh, h plus w j minus h h uh, k minus h so these are the uh, corresponding uh, representation in finite uh, difference for the different derivatives. So we are going to solve uh, the problem of a biaxially compressed plate. So in the previous video we have seen the solution for a uniaxial compressed plate. This is an uh, next advanced one. So we have the plate here uh, having a size a by a and the plate is simply supported and uh, acting on each edge is uniformly distributed compression force of magnitude uh, nx is equal to ny is equal to n so all are equally uh, compressed and taking the coordinate axis uh, we have the differential equation for bending uh, again rewritten as this equation this equation is obtained from the general equation of plate bending under the action of inclined forces by dropping the shear forces and changing the sign of the axial forces as this will be the negative value. The boundary conditions for simply supported plate uh, were shown in article 3.3 to be. Yeah. So the same thing uh, we have seen for the previous video W is equal to dot square w by dot square uh, and uh, the w is equal to dot square w by dot square equal to zero 
formulate the governing differential uh, relations each side of the plate is divided into n equal sections of size h is equal to a by n so this is divided into n number of equal sections of size h and to obtain the difference equation corresponding to equation 6.94 at any point of the network of nodal point thus formed uh, one substitutes the uh, difference ratios in 6.90 6.92 and 6.93 so these are the equation 90 92 and the with respect to both axes uh, this equation substituted to the equation 6.94 and the base uh, the main equation for the differential equation and thus at, at a point jk uh, we get the differential equation as uh, this much long equation and uh, we are using the we are converting uh, this equation into a combination of two molecules uh, in which uh, the first one represents the uh, sorry uh, using the computational molecules this equation can be represented pictorically by uh, as shown in figure 6.15 the molecule, first molecule corresponds to the biharmonic operators this is biharmonic operator and the second module, molecule uh, of the sum of the difference in x and y directions so this corresponds to the uh, like the minus 4 w j k as the uh, x and y direction with the second difference so uh, it is found that uh, the deflection at two alternative uh, points will be uh, just a reversal of sign this w j minus 2h uh, k will be equal to minus uh, w j j k so thus we'll see that for a simple supported edge the deflection at a point immediately outside the boundary is negative of the deflection at the corresponding point in the inside boundary so we are uh, going to solve this problem by a first approximation of n is equal to 2 as a first attempt uh, let the plate be subdivided into four equal squares as shown in figure 6.168 the network result in a single interior point uh, whose lateral deflection is denoted by w1 here deflection is zero along the boundary uh, and equal to minus w1 at the boundary points and this shows the uh, uh, nine squares which will be the next approximation okay so we are uh, dealing with the a now and writing the equation 6.95 at the interior point gives w1 into uh, 16 uh, minus n square by d is equal to 0. So 6.95 equation, we have this equation which is uh, modified for the first approximation of n is equal to 2. We'll find that the uh, nct will be equal to uh, 16d by a square and this is actually 20% uh, differing from the uh, approximation given by Timoshenko and Ger. And as second approximation uh, with n equal to 3, we will obtain the value as uh, w into 4 minus 2 n a square by 9 d equal to 0, for which n is equal to 18 d by a square, uh, which in which the error has been minimized to 10 percent. So it's always good uh, to have uh, more squares or more approximation to get the uh, desired values and uh, since the final difference method of solution for uh, finding the plate solving the plate buckling equation has been uh, discussed in this video.